Will you look at that? Will you look at that big gobbler? Look at that guy there. Oh, there's another one. Just went up in fan. Just went up in full strut. I don't know if we are gaining more turkeys uh, here at the house around our Texas hunter feeder or not. <laughs> but I think we may be. Well, we got, you know, more than one bunch coming in. And these guys think it's April. Uh, these guys, there's all those pretty girls around. They think it's April. There's a nice, beautiful buck right there. A young buck. That's his first set of horns. Beautiful little does. The hens are kind of, kind of walking off a little bit, not paying a whole lot of attention to me or anybody else. That feeder goes off at both 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock in the morning, goes off at noon, and goes off again in the evening. In addition to that, we throw some feed out there, so there's always a lot of feed out there for them. But I just can't get over. And these guys are gobbling, too. They're gobbling. Here it is in the middle of October, and uh, I think it's March or April. <laughs> I love it though, I love it. I love to hear them gobble, I love to see them strut. They are strutting their stuff there. Yeah, buddy, looks like a high school sophomore strutting his stuff in front of the girls at the Friday night football game. Don't I look good in this uniform, Woohoo! My, 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 we have gained a few. Look at here, when I come out here, they start walking toward me. They saw that I had a bag of carrots in my hand some carrots in the hand for the babies. But uh, there's a Watt 6, there's a Ot 9, and now he's turned into a Ot 3 or 4. <laughs> Poor baby. But uh, we gained a few bucks out there. We've got a couple of wild bucks that have come in and haven't been here. That one's one right there. Look at him. Boy, does he look nice. And this other buck right over there, not that guy, that guy's been here. That's lucky number 13 right there. But that's buck right here. And uh, he's a wild buck. He's not been hanging around, but he, but, uh, but he is one that's, that was born born here in the pen. He, he does have a tag in his ear, and that's his second set of horns. You can see he's just got an incredible set on one side, but the other side's not that great. So the other side's only got about three. I would imagine that TC is his father. There's TC back there. And then that buck that's standing right there is another buck that has not been here, and that buck has no tag whatsoever. So it's kind of amazing how when the deer watch other deer being as gentle as we've made these deer become around the house here, uh, that uh, other, other guys show up. And a lot of turkeys there this morning. But, uh, but there's a new buck here at the house and there's another new buck here at the house. So that's pretty, pretty amazing. And OTC, forest, it's not coming around still, so we're very, very concerned about forest. Okay, guys and girls, we have only got uh, a handful of bucks here. Well, really, I, I, exactly a handful, five. There is uh, Mr. Ott <laughs> Six, who will only have one horn the rest of his life on one side of his head. <clears throat> that, that antler had nine points on it, but he's been fighting and has broken it off. There's uh, little lucky number 13 right there. <coughs> Excuse me with his first set of horns, but looky there what you see right there. That is a totally different buck that's not been around here. That is a buck that was born in the pen because he's got a tag in him. That'll be his second set of horns. And he is beautiful on one side, a beautiful six point, but the other side is only, I think, about four points. So he's uh, really got one, two, three, four, five, six great antlers on that side, and uh, maybe even one or two extra over that. But uh, and, but it looks like he's only got maybe three on the other side, six by three. So that's not good. That's not what we're trying to establish right there, but we'll see what happens. He might get, he might get better. And there's another nice little buck right there. That's TC in the back. You can see how huge TC has become. That little buck in the back, that is his uh, uh, first set of horns, I believe. Could be his second. He is not tagged. Well, he is tagged, as a matter of fact. So he was born in the pen also. Those two bucks have not been hanging around the house at all. This is the first time they've been here. And uh, they look gorgeous, both of them, or they could possibly even, even be brothers because uh, they're both, uh, both got white tags on them. So that is their second set of horns or antlers. And you look how great that one side is and the other side is just not. This guy here, he's got really a lot on both sides. Looks like he got 
horn by somebody that there on his hindquarter. That's kind of looking at some of the bucks in the house, not all of them, but a few of them here this morning. Hey babies, hey babies. How are y'all doing this morning? I brought y'all a few carrots. Yeah, I brought y'all some carrots. Hi there, little whitey. Hi, little whitey. Hi, buddy. Hi, wild child. How you doing this morning? How do y'all like your new house, huh? If it comes with carrots, we like it. I normally, for these little guys, I normally cut the, the carrots in two and uh, have, that way it's not such a big a bite. It's taking a little bit longer to chew up a whole carrot because these guys are getting pretty good size and wild child has finally begun to lose her baby coat and get her winter coat. She's still got a, a few. Whitey's a lot quicker either than wild child. She's dainty, she's a girl. She's a little bit a little bit easier and softer. It doesn't take him long to destroy a carrot. <laughs> Beautiful little bucks. Little bucket of little dough. Beautiful little guys, yeah. See, he's already got his eating and she's still chewing. I don't want them swallowing the hole, but they get excited. They do that sometimes, just about. Yes, you are getting big and pretty, boy. Yes, you are. Huh, looky here what's happened back here behind us. Hi, guy. Hi, Molly. Hi, Lucky 13. How about a carrot? Hi, Molly. There you go, Molly. There you go, Lot 6. Yeah. Molly doesn't know if she likes carrots. She hasn't even picked hers up. <laughs> These pretty little boys like carrots, so carrots are cold on my hands. I bet they're hurting your teeth, too. Huh? Are they hurting your teeth also? You must not be hurting them too bad. They've got food on demand in there all the time. All right. I'll give you all a couple of carrots. That's it for right now. All right. Molly didn't even eat hers over there. Okay. All right, guys. I have work to do. I have work to do. That's right. <laughs> I tell you what, every morning is just a thrill around here. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what everything's going to look like, but it's always fun. Always fun. I am looking for Forrest this morning. Uh, we have found him, and he's got a really, really bad leg. I, we, when we saw him limping the other day, the last time I got video of him, he was just barely, barely getting along. And uh, yesterday, uh, Patsy found him over here around my partner's house underneath his deck. And... Uh, and he brought him some carrots. I brought him some carrots. What I'm concerned about with is he just being able to get up and walk enough to go get a drink of water. Because he's got to have water, obviously. We all have to have water to survive. And uh, he was here yesterday. <clears throat> I haven't seen him since he last left. So we're, we're looking. He was underneath the deck. I don't know if it's this deck or the one on the back. Definitely not underneath that one this morning. But the fact that if he's not where he was yesterday, that's okay because that means he's able to move around. I think he was under this deck back here. I don't see him under there anywhere. Oh uh, yeah, he's on the other end of it. I can see him way over there. Hey Forrest. Hey Forrest. I guess I should have come around the other way. Now that bothers me because it's a possibility that he's laid there since yesterday and has not had anything to drink. So we can carry him water also. Lots of carrots going to eat. Needs more than just carrots. These carrots are kind of treats, They're not a full meal for him. Where do I see him laying? Hi, Forrest. Hey, buddy. Hey, Forrest. Hey, Forrest. What are you doing, Forrest? Hey, buddy. Your leg's really bad, isn't it? Have you been going down getting some water, huh? Have you been going down getting some water? Hey, pal. Golly, Forrest. Your leg is just, I guess it's his, I think it's his left leg. I don't can't remember if it's right or left. But he is just hiding out. I'm gonna go under there and get the spiders and bugs and give him something to eat. Ah. Hi, Forrest. Okay, buddy. All right, well, that's all right, come on out. Uh, you need to get up and go get you a drink anyway. Here, yeah, buddy. Oh, you still feel like that? How about that? How about that? 
Yeah, he felt like running. That's good. Actually got out of there pretty quick, didn't he? That's the one thing that really concerns me is him. Uh, he, ate, he ate that one carrot and it took off. What really concerns me is uh, something to catch him because he can't get away. He's actually limping maybe a little bit better than he was the other day. He ate that pork carrot and then took off running. I mean, obviously he knew it was me. Boys, come here, buddy. <clears throat> I'm glad he did eat that carrot, though. That was good. He's staying under this deck, which is good. I don't know. He's going to come over here and lay back down. Oh, Patsy left him some food over here, too. I think we need to leave him some water over here. Hey, buddy. It's okay. He's able to lay down. You go, pal. Here. There you go. Hey. Hey. Want that carrot? Huh? I don't think he ate it. I think he's putting his mouth and chomped it. I never did see him eat it. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Can you see? He's just chomping that carrot. I don't think he's eating it. Oh, now he's chomping it up some. There you go, buddy. Yeah. A big pretty boy. How'd you hurt yourself anyway? Did you do that in a fight? He actually seemed pretty traumatized, too. He's just not acting like... He's not really acting like Forrest, I don't think. So I don't know, maybe... Maybe, uh, it might be that he got attacked by, ah, I can't stand that way too long. <laughs> it might be that he might've got attacked by some, uh, some coyotes or something. Sometimes the coyotes are getting packs and when they get in packs, they'll, one will chase a deer and they've seen this by helicopter. They've actually, I've seen videos of it. I've never actually seen it happen myself, but. They get chased by, by, by uh, a coyote will get chasing a deer and he'll chase him a long way and then they'll be running and that coyote will quit and another coyote will jump in and chase him and they, and they, they, they tag team. And they'll run him and another coyote will pick up and chase him. And they finally just run him until he gets tired of running and then when he stops, the whole pack of coyotes come out and they circle him and if they ever get him on the ground, he's in bad shape as long as he stays up and they go, they circle around and they get dizzy and they eventually one of them will grab their legs or or whatever. But he's gingerly taken those, so he's in pretty bad shape. He acts like he's a little traumatized. And I know when Lucy came back after she'd been caught by that coyote, she, uh, she was really, really kind of messed up psychologically. He's taking those carrots, so he's taking carrots without any problem. Well, Forrest, we're gonna to try to doctor you. We might have to give you a shot, give you some antibiotics. He hasn't lost any weight at all. He looks nice and fat. And Patsy's brought him a, uh, I think we'll bring some water over here and put it to him too. But the way he got away from me a minute ago, I don't know why I scared him, but it did. Cause he's certainly not scared of me. But, uh, but he can get to the water and get, get a drink. That's a good thing. But he, it's just, this is his recuperation spot. He acts like he put those in his mouth and he's not really eating them. <laughs> Finally, we'll chew them up and eat them, but not too, really not too interested in it. Hadn't been eating that food very much, doesn't look like either. Okay, I'm gonna leave him alone there and let him, uh, let him recuperate. I think maybe that leg's a little bit better. So uh, I think we probably will. Maybe bring some water over here and put a bucket of water under there for him so he doesn't have, the lake is right here, so he doesn't have to go down to the lake. And But uh, we sure don't want to lose force, but we're glad that we haven't lost him. That's a good thing, you know, when we found him yesterday is the fact that nothing has caught him. And he doesn't really appear to be sick. Maybe be a little sick mentally, I don't know, because of what might have happened to him, but he just injured. But uh, he looks big and pretty, but... He's not feeling too good. He's in a lot of pain, probably. He's probably in a lot of pain. All right, boys, buddy. We'll come back and check on you later. Be good, boys.